And this is the reason why I don't really wash my truck. What's up crew and welcome to the vlog. I'm enjoying the Florida weather, let me tell you that. I'm sick of that buffalo crap, I'm sick of that New York crap, that snow can stay up there. I'm gonna stay down here. What I'd like to get accomplished today is actually clean up the Duramax. But before I go ahead and do that, I have to unload all the crap out of the back, otherwise everything's going to get waterlogged. And I don't want everything to get waterlogged. Especially when there's electrical like this. But the main concern I have is making sure my tools don't get all wet. Like my jack. Also, I dislike surface dress on my tools. And I have a bunch of them back here. I still can't get it over how much this room got eaten up. I understand steel is stronger than aluminum, but still. I didn't go very far until this thing freaking fell off. Not that far at all. That one must have been the stud that cracked off. Because all the other ones have wear, except for that one. So that one was probably the last one hanging on. And that stud just couldn't do it. You see, I never had a problem with rust. The idea of rust was just normal to me. I live in New York, I always had crappy vehicles I couldn't afford very much growing up. There were only a few kids in my high school that actually went out and bought new vehicles or their parents bought new vehicles. Everybody else had rust buckets. But now that I've spent a lot of money on this truck, I wanna preserve it. That's why I came all the way down here to buy it and then drive it all the way back up to New York. And now that I'm back down here and it's salty, I wanna remove that and I wanna treat her well while she's down here. She deserves it. And at an investor standpoint, it only makes sense to wash this vehicle. She's very streaky, very, very streaky. I don't have a lot of cleaning material here. I just have a pressure washer, some soap, and a bucket. This is what I'm working with. You know what, I'm gonna go buy some new stuff because I don't need, I don't want all those particulates scratching up the old Duramax. I know she's not the best thing in the world. And she really doesn't have the best paint job, as you can see. But if we can preserve everything else, like my brand new painted hood and my brand new painted passenger door, then let's do it. She likes starting a lot better this time than she has the last couple weeks in New York. I'd have to say the same goes for me. It's kind of easier getting out of bed down here. I look forward to getting outside. I have to do a little bit of shopping. Not only am I cleaning the outside of my truck, but I'm also cleaning the inside. For a second, I couldn't even see this truck. My bucket, oh goodies. When we were in there and cashing out, I bought a can of spray paint too because I wanna paint my, uh, my backing plate for my new part once it comes in. Once it comes in, it's got a silver back. My other one's a black, so I want them to match. But when we were checking out, where my keys go? There, there. The buzzer on the cash register went off. So then the cashier asked for my ID, and then she asked for my girlfriend's ID to see that we're both over 18, is it? Mm -hmm. After she checked out our IDs, or while she was checking her ID, I said, if we wanted to huff it, I'd buy the cheap stuff, because the stuff we bought was like four bucks. The, the lady behind us found it funny. <laughs> but seriously, if you're gonna do it for those reasons, why buy the expensive stuff? Want a good huff. Oh, okay, maybe. <laughs> the $4 stuff's way better than the 99 cent stuff. <laughs> you, you see all sorts of shapes and sizes? Now we gotta paint some truck stuff. This 
isn't really my style. I usually have a motorized, well, a gasoline power washer. This is actually motorized, this is electric. It just doesn't burn gas. Surprisingly enough though, these do work pretty good. I'm 22 years old and I don't think I've ever seen one of these things actually work. That's why I wasn't unreeling the hose. I was just taking it off. This one works. So I'm actually going to use two buckets. This blue one's going to be my rinse. So basically I don't have any cross contamination. I'm not a professional car washer at all, but I have picked up a couple tips and tricks from other people. But what I did buy is a microfiber towel. Actually two of them. This is for your hand. This is just a towel. Uh, diesel clean. We will not be using this to wash my vehicle, but we will use it in the gas tank and it'll clean the inside of the vehicle. So the Duramax is just gonna be a clean, clean machine. Got some more soap and we got our spray paint. I also bought some bananas, but you guys didn't see that. You see how the back just beads off? I must have some undercoating on that. Let me just say, they got some impressive water pressure. Try out one of these microfiber towels. Looks good. I cannot get this thing off. It seized right on. I even busted out a pair of vice grips. I don't want to break it, so I'm going to give up. Maybe try to find another hose. I guess I'm going to have to do it the old-fashioned way. I just got done. I personally think it turned out excellent. I have to say though, the hood and this passenger door did come out the best. Like I said, they have just been repainted, so that's why they look immaculate. Everything else has its own kind of mistakes. Like as you guys know, I patched this right here. It's kind of hard to see on camera, but um, I can kind of notice it because, well, first of all, I did it, so I noticed that. But if somebody didn't know I did that, then they probably wouldn't be able to pick that out. But it does look a hell of a lot better than it did before but I will show you a couple mistakes. And this is the reason why I don't really wash my truck and it shows my lack of experience, but mostly because the truck's paint sucks. This was not like that. Their hose pressure is so powerful that it made a couple more imperfections like that one, a couple of these, it made that one a little larger. But the one that it really opened up was this one. I don't even think that was there. Like you can see the difference in colors. That little speck was there and now all of that has exploded. Painting vehicles isn't cheap. That's why I only did the hood and the passenger door. This year I might do the driver door, but this panel's looking bad and this back panel's looking really bad. There's a nice scratch right there. The soap did a pretty good job taking off that uh, nasty wax stuff on the back. I didn't take my microfiber and dry that off though. I didn't want any contamination on my nice microfiber. I just bought that. Now that I'm done washing my truck and cleaning my truck, now I have to clean up my mess so that I could clean up my truck. You know, cleaning seems a little bit redundant, don't you think? Oh yeah, before I forget, if you guys have any tips or tricks when it comes to cleaning your vehicle, leave it in the comment section below. I'd really appreciate it. We could learn together and the world could have cleaner vehicles. Well, I hope all you machine freaks enjoyed me ruining my paint job. Don't forget to smash the hell out of that like button. Help me clean my truck with your thumbs. Until tomorrow's vlog, 3D Machines out. <laughs>